So you may be pleased to know that Gmail has got the reading pane, which is similar to Outlook's preview pane. Now to enable this, we click on the gear icon here in the top right corner. This opens up the quick settings here. And if you scroll down underneath the inbox type, the next section down is the reading pane. And then you just choose whether you want it to be to the right of the inbox, below the inbox, or no split, which means it's turned off. So choose whether you want it to the right or below the inbox. And the first time that you enable it, it's going to say that Gmail will need to reload. So just click on reload. And you now have this preview pane over here on the right hand side. So if I click onto an email, you can see this is the preview. Now, if you hover over this separation line between the inbox and the preview, you can see that the cursor changes and you can actually just drag it and either increase or decrease the size of the pane. You'll also notice that in the toolbar across the top of the page, over on the right hand side, there is now a new icon. This allows you to toggle between different views of the reading pane. If you click on the drop down arrow and you can choose whether you want no split, vertical or horizontal. So I'm just going to choose horizontal so you can see what that looks like as well. And again, with a horizontal split, you simply hover over the separation line here and you can click and drag it up or down to, to reduce or increase the size of the preview pane. Now, if you switch it off by saying no split here, you can still see that the icon is here in the top right corner, which means that you can quickly go in and add the reading pane back without going, having to go back into your quick settings. Now, another way of enabling the reading pane is from your main settings. So again, if you click on the gear in the top right corner, then click see all settings, click on inbox across the top here, scroll down and you've got the section for the reading pane. And again, it's, it's enabled now because we've just enabled it in the quick settings. But if that wasn't enabled, then you would be able to tick it here to enable it. And you can then just choose whether you want it to the right or below the inbox again. Just make sure if you make any changes to scroll down to the bottom and click on save changes and job done.